pirates and trainers, duelists and tamers, welcome. I am going to be crossing a grand line and entering a new world of products, starting with this One Piece Devil Fruits collection. I don't know how heavy I am going to get into One Piece. I've been watching the anime for a while. I love it. I'm about a little less than halfway through Dress Rosa right now, so no spoilers. But I saw this and I really wanted it. Just, it's a really nice piece to have on, you know, like your desk or a bookshelf. It just, the iconic, you know, devil fruits are a huge part of One Piece. And of course, Luffy's gum gum fruit is, if anything, the most iconic. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what we have. I have not opened a Bandai product in a long time. I get a lot of credit to Bandai. They have a lot of cool products. They do holiday boxes and nifty little things like this that I feel like the other companies don't. So I'm very excited for this one. Okay. I'm just rolling around here. This is the legendary gum gum fruit. It's really sturdy. It looks nice. Got some tape on here. There we go. Okay, so it looks like there is... Alright, yes. So one of the kind of swirls on it does act, you know, as a as a base. So you can kind of prop it up there. Alright, so... I don't know if it's a twist off. Oh, looks like it just snaps off. Okay. And we've got some packs. And we got this cool Don card. Okay, looks like these are, this is a manga panel from when Luffy gives himself that scar on his cheek. I loved this scene when I was a kid. I thought it was just so hardcore. I actually do not know, you know, I know a good bit about One Piece, but I do not know much about how to play the actual game itself. I've been told it's Digimon without evolving, Digivolving, and it has a mana system. And I guess that's what these Don cards are. But this one's really cool. And I got these sleeves, which are the gum gum fruit sleeves. Very nice. It looks like there's only a few in here. So I am guessing that these maybe go in a separate deck. And then you can sleeve them up with this. This one's a little bit bent. But flatten that out. And these sleeves are pretty cool. All right. Now again, you know, I know about One Piece, but I do not know how to play the game at all, or what, I know there's a ton of cards that are worth a lot of money, but I don't know what they are. So let's just go in set order, looks like this is OP3, Pillars of Strength. Let's see, yeah, oh, there's a tab here, okay. Okay, oh, there's a tutorial app. That is good to know. I really enjoyed the Digimon tutorial app. I like that Bandai. You know, another cool thing that Bandai does. Okay, Zoro's homies, Yosaku and Johnny. All right. Character cards from the East Blue. Very cool. Tilestone. Um, oh, okay. He's Water 7, Galila Company. Must be a minor character. Jerry from CP6. I don't believe been introduced to CP6 yet. Momu! I of course know who Momu is. Oh my god. It was exciting to see him again when he returns in, uh, what is it, the, the Fishman Island um, arc. That was probably the best part of that arc. I wasn't a huge fan of that one. Um, but I loved him, you know, in Arlong Park. And when, you know, when I was a kid, I played, I of course watched One Piece, the, the four kids dub. And I played, I think it was Grand Battle for the GameCube. And he was, like, in the background of one of the arenas you could fight in. And just, I, I just loved Momo. Okay, Hull Dismantle or Slash. Okay. So I assume this is some kind of, like, a, you know, an option card, a spell card, a whatever kind of card. 
It's got the two, the square-headed girls in there, Frankie's sisters. I, I, oh, I love them. Usopp's Pirate Crew. There's a potato, carrot, and onion. Ugh, a lot of really cool cards. Haruta from the Whitebeard Pirates. So they were probably at the War of the Best. I don't remember them. Buggy. Okay, looking absolutely menacing. Boodle. I didn't know he had a, I'm sure he had a name, but I didn't know what it was. I assume that's the mayor and not the dog, but I could be wrong. We got a Nami card. Okay. Old school, what is that, Romance Dawn Nami. And we got Buzz Cut Mochi. Those big mom pirates. Okay, so I haven't seen this in action yet. And I got a Monkey D. Luffy card. Cool, cool, cool. And okay, another Dawn. So now I got, I got two of them. Okay. I'm assuming nothing crazy in that pack, but still some really cool cards nonetheless. I think at the very least I'll have to get maybe just a starter deck and uh, maybe get two of them and just leave them up and play with a buddy sometime. Okay. Oimo and Kashi. These were the Giants from Eni's Lobby. Tony Tony Chopper. Ah. Carmel. The House of Lambs. That does. N that might be. That might be from was it Long Leg Island or the the Long Arm Tribe or, or wherever Brooke goes during the uh, the two years. Trafalgar Law. Ah, I love Law, especially like really getting into you know Law's character and his backstory and, and Dress Rosa. Such a cool character. Randolph. He's part of the Big Mom Pirates. And the homies. I don't know who the homies are, but I'm, I'm here to find out. Playgrounds. Okay, it sounds like playgrounds, but it's playgrounds. Animal Kingdom Pirates. Okay, so this is going to be some, some Kaido stuff, I assume. Yokozuna. Okay, anybody that knows me knows I am not a fan of frogs, but I did appreciate him. And here is Hira. Hera. Also a homie. Mr. Two Bon Carre, Bentham. Ugh, tragic hero. Crocodile card, okay, he's purple and yellow. I didn't know they had two color cards. I love Crocodile. I'm a sucker for any kind of mafia stuff, and, you know, Crocodile seemed like kind of a throwaway villain in Alabasta, but then as soon as you see him again in, you know, Impel Down, it's, it's cool that they kind of flesh out his character a little bit, and I'm excited to see what they do with him later down the road. Treble. Okay, I can't stand this guy. I know there's like a a trope in, in Japanese media with the, the snot hanging, and I just oh, I can't stand it. I play Animal Crossing, and the girl that sells the turnips in the morning is Daisy May. She's got the snot dripping, and I just, ugh, I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. And we've got Charlotte Amande. She's a Big Mom's pirate character as well. And there's no no ad in this one. Okay. Oh. Okay. Crocodile is a leader card. Okay, so leaders have a different background, so I assume it's kind of like a commander thing, maybe? And then... Oh, okay. So there's three different backgrounds. Neat. Alrighty, last pack. This has definitely been fun, and I can't remember the last time I opened up a pack of cards and was like completely blind to what is in the set. You know, I like not only do I not know the rules, but I don't know what cards are in here. Um, but we're starting off with a Kung Fu Jugon, so you already, you already know. I love these guys. Ice Oni, okay. Captain Kuro, I really liked him when I was a kid. Watching the, you know, the Syrup Village arc. Miss Golden Week. Okay, that's a really cool artwork. I love the colors on there. I kind of wish they, they fleshed her character out more. She seemed really interesting and, like, mysterious. So I know they, they skip over Little Garden in the, the Four Kids dub. So whenever I saw, like, Japanese stuff of One Piece or I played the games and she was in there, I was always like, who is that? Like, she had this... 
this air of mystery about her, and we didn't really get much past this. Nefoltari Cobra, okay. So that that's Vivi's father, right? Charlotte Perospero, okay. Another big mom pirate. The Don Quixote family. Okay, this is everybody. That's a really cool shot. I love these manga panel cards. These are so cool. I don't know about Senior Pink. Um, I'm just at the episode where he's starting to fight Frankie, and I'm really excited to see his character and what he's all about. He just I, I can tell there's a story there. Uh, Super Spot Build Duck Troops. Okay, we got Carew and the whole squad. It says Animal and Alabasta, which is the same thing as Kung Fu Jugon. So maybe there's like an Animal Alabasta archetype. I definitely have to do some more research on how to play. Eric, the guy from, oh my god, he's from that filler arc with the... The little girl and the, the dragons, and ah, oh, that's crazy. Really going deep on these cards. Dragon Twister Demolition Breath. Four Emperors, Animal Kingdom Pirates. Another awesome manga panel card. Okay, we got Miss Valentine from Baroque Works. And we got this Don Quixote Rosinante. I don't know what this is. I think it's a secret rare? SEC's got to be Secret Rare. That is awesome. This is such a cool-looking card. I probably butchered his name. I didn't get to his character yet. Oh, my God. It's textured. What? Ugh. This has definitely piqued my interest on One Piece, but it's made me miss Digimon. Uh, so I might... Maybe we'll do some more Digimon content. Those videos seem to do really well. Gosh, this card is awesome. Um, overall, I was able to get this at Barnes... Ooh, bad glare. Okay. I was able to get this at Barnes & Noble, so thankfully it was retail. I would say, you know, I don't know the value on these packs. I'm going to have to look these up. Um, the, you know, if you're a serious player, maybe you can skip it, but, like, this, this is just so cool to me. This is so cool to me. These are so cool. The really, the really thing here that I was after was this, and you know, I'm just gonna, I don't think I'm gonna keep any cards in it, I think I'm just gonna attempt to assemble it. Come on. Well, I'll play around with it. But, I mean, you know, once I put this back together, of course, I'll just keep this on a bookshelf or my desk for work, and, you know, it's just a nice little piece of, of One Piece memorabilia. It is volume one. So that leads me to believe that they are going to make additional types of this product. And, you know, for, for other devil fruits, um, I think Ace is, is probably one of the most iconic. So I would imagine if they make a second one of these, that it would be that one. I'm still trying to put this thing back together. Oh, got him. All righty. So... You know, I would recommend it. Um, it was, I think, twenty four ninety nine before tax. So, like, you know, that's not a huge investment to drop into it. Um, if you know anybody that's a One Piece fan, uh, this is a great thing for the holidays or a birthday or something just to kind of open up a little bit and have some fun with. Let me know in the comments below if you like this product or if you've been doing anything with One Piece. Uh, if there's any One Piece stuff you want me to cover or any... Digimon stuff or any other specific card stuff you want to cover. Um, I do have some plans for some videos coming out next year. So subscribe and make sure you stay tuned to see all of that stuff coming out. Leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, again, leave a comment. Share the video with your friends if they're just into card games or if they're into One Piece or uh, whatever. Every little bit helps. Definitely going to be trying to reach some more subscribers. I want to try to get to a thousand. We're a ways off, but I'm confident that we can do it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.